Good morning, it's Mike Chang here in Singapore. I've been trying to go to a lot of the food centers I've never been before. And this is one of them. Hamaru Market is the fourth largest hawker center here in Singapore. It's also supposed to be one of the cleanest and most beautiful. Let's go check it out. There is over 80 stalls in this giant hawker center. I'm here on a weekend, so this place is gonna get packed, I hear. There was a bunch of food stalls that were awarded the Michelin bib. Anyway, a lot of local favorites here. And there's a couple in particular I'm looking for. Let's start with curry rice. First bite of the day. I think this is gonna be pretty epic. They didn't have any curry chicken yet, it's being so early. Got some pork chops, got some lujou, which is pretty much braised pork belly. Got some curry squid, curry fish. And the way they do the curry rice is that they put a layer of rice underneath all this meat. And then they ask you if you want some additional sauce, which, yeah. If you said no to that question, I really don't think we can be friends. So they drizzled every single type of curry onto the meat onto the rice so the rice is just being stewed in this just wondrous looking curry mixture right now and i feel so bad because my camera was all fogging up when i got to the table so i've been sitting here for like 10 minutes trying to make it look okay doing such a disservice to the food now finally let's eat squid mm. squid itself nice and tender a little sweet but that curry as soon as you put it in your mouth, start chewing. That sensational aroma of the curry just takes over. I'm being hit with smokiness, that rich creaminess, and of course, tons of heat after the squid goes down the hatch. I know I got a lot of meat right here that I'm excited for. I can't wait to get to the rice. Mmm. Braised pork belly is just so soft. Different textures in that bite. Lean meat, fat, skin that brings a little gelatinous texture. I met a really nice lady in line who told me that the pork chop is the must try here. Mm. Mm. When you're waiting in line, make friends with your line neighbors. I wasn't even gonna get the pork chop. I would have missed out big time. This is delicious. The pork is succulent. The outside still retains a little bit of subtle crunch. Wow. That was the first time that happened in the history of eating. I should cut my inner lip on the side of this fork. Oh, these are dangerous forks. I like the food guys telling me I should slow it down. Either that or switch to a spoon. Ah, let's try this again. Mm. All that rich, silky, smooth curry dancing with every single grain of rice. When you start mixing the protein in there, you get that, you get that added delicious texture and some more melty fat. Mm. This is especially good with that pork chop. Wow. That pork chop is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna try a little bit with some of their chili sauce here. The chili sauce isn't blow your head off spicy, but it adds a nice lingering burn to that super smooth curry. Oh, that's really lingering. My heat just keeps rising in my mouth. So two things. Definitely recommend this place if you come here. And secondly, use a spoon. <laughs> I think I need a band-aid for the inside of my mouth. Two stalls down is a place selling granny cakes. I haven't had this in such a long time. I love granny cakes. Super thin, airy cakes, wonderfully toasted on one side and stuffed with peanut butter and peanuts in the middle. If you never had a granny cake before, let me tell you. Mm. Oh, it's so good. You are missing out if you never tried this. The batter is super mochi -ish. so you taste a nice toasty side on one end, but the whole thing is chewy. This one in particular, crunchy peanuts, and so gooey peanut butter inside. Oh, this is wonderful. Mmm. Well, I got two flavors. One is peanut butter, and the other is coconut. I wish that chocolate. 
That would have been a really good flavor too. Gooey, melty chocolate, roasted coconut. Ah. Uh. Mm. This is even better. Stop chewy pancake, delightfully sweet, creamy coconut. This is absolute perfection right here. I'm just trying to look around and see what other lines are long. Don't feel too overwhelmed when you go to a hardware center, you didn't do your research. Just look for the place with the longest lines. Like Singaporeans will wait for food. I've been smelling that great vinegary flavor of lor mee for a while now. I'm gonna find where that's coming from. Wow, so there's a long line here at the Wonton Man, Hundun Man place. There's the lor mee I think I've been smelling. Got my lor mee and another giant coconut. There's so much juice in these. Now for the thing I've been craving for all day. This is a very thick bowl. And the noodles will cost you four Singapore dollars. Fish cake inside, little bits of meat, I think. I just put some extra vinegar in here, garlic, chilies. Look at that. <laughs> and the aroma of this just travels throughout the entire food center. Mm. I miss this. This is my first bowl of lor mee after coming back to Singapore. I wish I put more vinegar in here. The noodles are medium width and chewy. The sauce is so thick. You can pretty much pick it up with your chopsticks. There's also thin slices of seafood in here to give it a different texture. And a little crispy fried dough also provides a nice subtle crunch. Mm. It's delicious, but it's definitely dense. This is one of those dishes that when you eat the whole bowl, you might be knocked out for a good half a day. Also, I like the fact that they give you so much gravy. Every single noodle is just completely submerged. Definitely add some garlic, add some vinegar to cut out the fattiness. I love this texture though. This reminds me of really good thick bowl of seafood soup that you eat with chopsticks. Hunger Stall is a really good opportunity to try places that are not on the map. This place definitely didn't have as big of a line as the other place. I like this. Mm. Bowl noodles, cha shu, wang tang soup, three fifty Singapore dollars. So about two fifty for all this food. The noodles are deliciously springy. It's cooked perfectly. Chase it with some chilies or you can just dunk your meat into the chili sauce. And you really don't even need much of it because the sauce the noodles are already cooked in has a good amount of spice. And the sauce has this really nice seafood flavor as well. Wonton soup is light, a freaking plush to these wontons. I didn't think so much of it because, you know, kind of resembles a fishbowl to me. This thing's like the one punch man. But one hit is all you need to fall in love with this. It's a little sweet, very meaty, porky, at the same time, very light. I would love just a giant bowl of these wontons and maybe these noodles thrown in. This is their highlight for sure. I mean, the noodles are good too. Cha is fine. This is the star right here. And like I said, it's great coming to hockey centers and trying out all the most popular stalls, but also it's so good for food exploring on days where you just want to use the Andrew Zimmerman philosophy. If it looks good, Eat it. A little over too generalized in my opinion, especially when it comes to beautiful designer soaps. But in general, pretty good advice. I'm so excited for this. There's such a long line at this shrimp meat place. About second in line to this fresh batch, just cooked it. And inside there's squid, there's fish cake, there's prawns, scrambled eggs, two types of noodles. And you cut all the noodles so much that you can now eat this with a spoon. I forgot how good shrimp meat is. Just got hit by that awesome prawn flavor. About four chews into that bite. Mmm, oh, so good. The flavor really hits you in waves. First, you get that nice chewy texture from the noodles, and then that amazing wake, and all of a sudden, the taste of prawn just fills your mouth. 
the eggs, the noodles, to absorb all that great flavor of the gravy. And the gravy is so rich with such a sharp umami bite. I remember the first time having shumay in Singapore. I thought it was one of the best things I've ever had in my life. And I am reminded of all that right now. Gravy has a rich buttery flavor to it as well. Mm. Definitely recommend eating this with a lot of the hot sauce to kind of cut through the richness a little bit. So every bite you get is just as refreshing for your taste buds. I'm so terrified of plastic cutlery now. Also, it's giant plate. Five Singapore dollars, so about four bucks, giant plate of noodles. You definitely taste all the hard work and dedication that goes into every single plate. This really is about as good as it gets. One of my favorite things today. Now, what's kind of good about waiting in line is by the time you eat, wait in line, get your food, you're hungry again. I think this is the last food item I'm getting at this food center. Enjoyed every single plate of food I got so far. I love the Hawker Center because it's tons of great food just all in one place. So you can literally sit here, camp out, and eat to your heart's content without really traveling anywhere else. I'm gonna try to do this at as many Hawker Centers as possible before I leave Singapore. I've actually talked to people who uh, lived in Singapore for about 10 years, never been to a hawker center. Amazes me. When you're talking about Singapore food, th this is what I would always envision. Going to hawker centers, tasting the dishes, is one of the best ways to get to know Singapore. A lot of you guys have been sending me recommendations on where to go, so this is Prada place I gotta check out. Walk around, let the food digest, and then we'll go for dinner. Know this food center existed as soon as I walked close. I smelled durian. I, I did a Prada video um, a couple weeks ago, and then everyone says this place is a mineral to Prada. It's much better than the place I went to. Check it out. Just got the Prada in a mutton curry. They give you a lot of mutton with this curry, and I got a cheese parada and a coin parada, which are smaller but I think much crispier paradas. Yeah, look at these, perfectly, whoa, perfectly toasty on the outside. Unravel it. That looks pretty darn good. Like I said, they overloaded the mutton curry. Chunks of mutton in here. It's gonna taste the curry. Oh yeah, this is really good. You guys are not wrong. This is pretty darn incredible. The parada melts in your mouth like it is nothing. Curry, scrumptious, creamy, so flavorful. Like so much flavor. Mm. And it's got a ton of heat in this thing too. This thing will light your taste buds on fire. Do a little dance and just take your taste buds on the town for a flavor dance party. Wow. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Mm. And they give you so much meat in the curry. Mm. Try some of the potatoes. Mm. This is definitely one of the best parada places I've been to in Singapore. Great call on this one. Oh, that is a mushy, flavor-filled, spicy potato. Got a cheese parada. I wanted to try a regular one, too. Again, perfectly toasty outside. Super, super thin, almost translucent. Take that. Dunk it in. Mm. Less toasty than the coin parada, but a much more pillowy chew after that initial subtle crunch on the outside. I love this place. And the people working here are so nice as well. Though this is a great meal to end the day with. Also, I found some. I've been looking for custard apples. I haven't been able to find them since I got to Singapore. Finally found some. A little on the more ripened side. Can't wait to go home and try this. Let's get back to this before this stuff becomes less crispy. All right, just got home and check this out. This is a custard apple. It's very ripe. Um, custard apple season is almost over. I've been trying to look for one of these since I got to Singapore. Couldn't find one till today. Hopefully it's still good. Kind of looks like an artichoke. Um, and to open it, you rip this part out. Oh, look at that. Just pull it out. 
there's a big long thing on the inside and then you just peel it like so and there you go and just eat it like this mm. they're still good I forgot how sweet this thing is mm. tastes just like the name of this fruit tastes like a custardy apple very juicy too really really sweet I mean it doesn't look pretty on the outside amazingly juicy and sweet inside <laughs> Another amazing food day today. As always, all the places I went to list down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later.